Enjoy that torch. Hello everyone. Today's video has big news that we will discuss. I don't intend for the video to be too long, so I will have to power right through this, okay? The first big news I will address is in the thumbnail and current picture you are seeing while I talk. The official Scream Twitter profile says, and I quote, Looks like we have a spill, clean up on aisle 1 and 19, gonna need a mop and body bag. Hashtag Scream 6. The post was liked by Paramount Pictures, who is the distributor for Stream 6. Um, the implication that we as fans are supposed to take from this is that the trailer will drop on the 19th of this month. I'm excited if this is the case. I will be checking in each day that goes by to see if this will prove to be true. Um, let's see, in other news... At CBR.com, there's an article titled, Scream 6 star Jenny Ortega teases a pretty gory franchise entry, authored by Eleanor Griffiths. The article came out in the evening of the 14th. Jenny Ortega, who is Tara Carpenter in Scream 5 and is starring in Scream 6, is quoted as saying that Scream 6 is pretty gory. Additionally, Melissa Barrera, who is Sam Carpenter in Scream 5 and stars in Scream 6, is quoted as saying, With the last Scream, they were tiptoeing and trying to be very respectful of what the franchise had been up to until that point, and keeping their inner, glory, uh, inner gory dreams at bay. But with this one, they were like, we're going all out. It's potentially a hundred times gorier. And that's the end of the quote. So, if you think, uh, if you are a, a big time slasher fan and you're a big time fan of, you know, graphic kills and violence and gore and all that kind of jazz, this movie going to be right up your alley. Um, I thought Scream 5 was a bit graphic here and there. Um, didn't really think it was that gory until the end of the movie with one of the villains anyway, but, um... I, I pretty much, I really enjoy Scream uh, 5, and um, Scream 4 was pretty good, didn't really care much for Scream 3, Scream 2 was alright, and Scream 1 obviously is just, you know, legendary and everything. The originals are always hard to beat, aren't they? But anyway, so if we're supposed to take that from this, uh, that movie's going to be really violent and really graphic and gory just be prepared for that in case it's not your cup of tea um anyway uh just as a side note for news and everything um it looks like winnie the pooh uh blood and honey it looks like it got yes there's some news on that um It looks like it got extended by a week, um, the stay at the theaters, instead of j just being there for a day at the theaters, like I reported in my last video. It looks like the movie will be in most theaters for a full week now, so in case you don't have time to see it on the 15th, well, at least you have until the, you know, the 22nd, at least the night of the 22nd to see the movie on in February anyway um, tickets for Winnie the Pooh blood and honey can be purchased online at fathom events or at participating theater box offices for a complete list of theater lo locations visit the fathom events website um, and you know theaters are subject to change obviously between now and then but yeah you can see the full list of the theaters there Anyway, um, I just thought that was pretty cool that it looks like a, it's a little more optimistic for box office projections for Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing that movie. Um, because it, the, the, <laughs> the release got an extended week, at least it gives me some time, you know, to figure out and schedule around. Anyway, uh, for those of you who are new, welcome to the community. Like and subscribe if you're new here, and hit the notification bell so you're notified when I drop videos. 
to the familiar faces that I see in the comments, thank you so much for your love and support. Appreciate seeing the familiar faces back almost every video in the comments and everything. Um, make sure to wash your hands, don't touch your face, and stay safe. Thank you.